An 18 year old comes into the office to talk about irregular bleeding with her implant. Her mom is present with her for the visit today. She's had her implant for about nine months. She states she's had irregular bleeding the whole time. She was started on birth control pills about three months ago to help with the bleeding and states it's been ineffective. The patient wants to take out her implant and wants to switch to an IUD. The mom states she's not in agreement to the IUD because she got pregnant with the IUD herself and doesn't believe it's a good option. We discuss other methods such as using the birth control pills alone or trying the vaginal ring or depo or depo Pavera. The mom states she is not in agreement with any of these methods because she wants something long term and doesn't believe her daughter will be responsible enough for any of the other options. The patient states, well, it's my choice and I don't want to continue with the implant because I'm bleeding all the time. Mom goes on to say, as long as you're in my house, you will keep the implant. The patient becomes very tearful, but states, I guess I'm keeping the implant. Prior to leaving the office, the mother requests that the patient be given her first dose of the HPV vaccine. About two and a half months later, the patient and her mom returns to the office to get the second dose of the HP vaccine, HPV vaccine. The mom states her daughter has been in a better mood because she's finally stopped bleeding with her implant. During the visit, the mom receive a, receives a call and states she's going to step out to take the call. When the mom steps out, I tell the patient that I'm so glad her bleeding has finally stopped. The patient looks at me and says, my bleeding stopped because I took out my implant myself. Knowing that the patient is sexually active, I ask her, is she using anything for birth control? And she states that her and her partner uses the pullout method. When asked how long ago did she take out her implant, she said right after the last visit. We run a pregnancy test just to make sure she is not pregnant and it comes back positive. When I tell the patient the news, she says, oh my God, you cannot tell my mom. Just then, the mom comes back into the room.